in Cubasis 3 on this track, you can see I'm sending this MIDI to my audio interface, which I selected from this drop down list. And here I selected MIDI channel 2. On the next channel, I'm sending a duplicate of that same MIDI to my audio interface on MIDI channel 6. The MIDI is then sent from my audio interface through my chain of hardware devices to the Yamaha QY22, where on MIDI channel 2 I've selected choir pad, and on channel 6, synth strings. I can blend the two sounds by using the QY22's mixing desk. The stereo output from the QI22 goes to inputs 11 and 12 on my audio interface. So on this audio track, I've selected stereo inputs 11 and 12. And as you can see, I have the monitor button switched on. Otherwise, we wouldn't hear the sound from the QI22 coming into Cubasis 3. And you can see the level coming into the door here on the mixing desk. I'm using Bliss Fusion to add another interesting layer to this sound, but I'm just going to dial it back a little so that it's a bit more of a subtle effect. Audio Things Outer Space, which I adore, is the perfect delay and reverb for this sound. Normally, I would add delays and reverbs as send effects, but because I've created a unique effect that I only want to use on this particular instrument, it's fine here as an insert effect. Finally, from the Waves plugin bundle in the Cubasis 3 shop, I'm using the Q10 equalizer to carve away unnecessary lows and boost a couple of higher frequencies so that this sound can be a background layer in my track, but still easily be heard.